After uploading that video last night, showing that David Bowie is alive and well, playing the character of Jack Steven, a supposed music industry executive with Fortress Music, I received a few messages from people stating there is a Jack Steven on VMO. Let's compare the two. One thing I noticed right away, the teeth are not the same. I'm going to break this down a little bit here. Then I'm going to play the clips with David Bowie speaking and Jack Steven, the supposed Jack Steven from a few years back. Let's take a look at this image here. And this is the Jack Steven from VMO in that video I'm going to show in a bit. But let's take a look at David Bowie and his teeth here. And that smile, you see no gap whatsoever in these teeth. And look at Jack Stevens, or supposed Jack Steven, who is nothing more than David Bowie. No gap whatsoever. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to play some video clips. Again, with Jack Stevens speaking, you can clearly see that gap. I got a little bit of a close-up. You can definitely tell. That this character Jack Steven, you know, and David Bowie's playing that character Jack Steven. And who knows what happened to the real Jack Steven, but nonetheless, David Bowie is alive and well. And he showed up on Sky News playing the character Jack Steven. Um, I've been asked here as a complete outsider to talk about Dallas's music scene. Um, I have to stress that I am here on vacation and I. I'm spending a lot of time in Dallas because I have a girlfriend here who I've fallen in love with at my grand old age of 53. Girlfriend here who I've fallen in love with at my grand old age of 53. Friend here who I've fallen in love with at my grand old age of 53. First, sum up how, how you felt this morning when you, when you heard this. I, I was just saying earlier that I actually felt that part of me had died. I mean, I have to say that that's how much an influence he is, I think, to me and to thousands and millions of people around the world. And, and strangely, I, I'm surprised, you know, I, you know, I sort of lived through John Lennon's death, uh, you know, Elvis's death. And sadly, this one's affected me more than any other. I mean, it's a very strange thing. 